one on the train noticed anything out of the ordinary. But then, no one was really looking. Meanwhile, the funk clung to Jack like a bad smell, eating away at him bit by bit. He began to feel nauseous. His heartbeat quickened, and he broke into a sweat. He started seeing things that weren't really there. Strange voices echoed in his head, and his body was gripped by cramps, chest pains, lack of breath. By the time he arrived at Flinders Street, Jack was thoroughly at the mercy of this mysterious funk. Nothing seemed to be real anymore. It was as if he was sleepwalking through a haze of déjà vu, falling through life from one moment to the next, with nothing to grab hold of along the way. And all the while, the funk dug deeper into Jack, burrowing into his soul like a poisonous tick, sucking the life right out of him.